zero in the Bible talking about it. I research. I'm, I'm saying. I'm, <laughs> ask Bob. It doesn't matter. I don't. I don't need to ask no one. I open the Bible. Bob is wise. No, no. Bob is the most stupid one. Very, that, that's, Bob is wise. In his human form, he is not as great as God. Yeah. And in his divine form, he is one. That's what you say. Yeah. Where do I find this in the Bible? To support this argument. I wouldn't know. There is nothing in the Bible like this. So there because is. There is, no, no, actually no, there is nothing in the Bible. Zero in the Bible. Talking about it. Research. I research. I'm, I'm saying. I'm, <laughs> ask Bob. It doesn't matter. I don't. I don't need to ask no one. I open the Bible. Bob is wise. No, no. Bob is the most stupid one. Very, Bob that's, is wise. I wish he's, he's you wise. You run from Bob. No, no, I don't run. You run. By the way, by the way, I don't need to run from no one. But I'm saying to you, um, did I run from you? No. Okay. Not no, no, even it no, doesn't matter. Bob, are, no, no, I don't run. I don't run from the from Bob or anyone. We had the discussion. It doesn't matter. For me, when someone is come and insult yes. Islam and the Prophet, for us he's enemy. I don't deal with them. Yes. I, that's how it is. If someone comes, so we have a few conversation with reasonable Christian, educated Christian, who have no problem, we have a discussion with them, no problem. You understand? It's not about running. We are not making points here. We are wanting to convey the truth. You understand? So when we I stand where I stand, and I'm saying to you here, there is nothing in the Bible affirming that Jesus in his human form is something, and in his divine form is something else, nothing like this. Now, people, it's, a, it's an assumption done by Christians because they, they try to reconcile between these contradictions. They found the Father is greater than I, me and the Father are one, and then they couldn't reconcile between them except in this way. Do you understand? So because of this, because of this, we have an issue with this. We, you know, uh, and, and by the way, uh, will uh, 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 Paul, Paul, can please uh, come, come with us here? Yeah, yeah. So my my point is to you, if we have this and we don't have something to support it, it's an assumption. I cannot use analogy to discuss about God. I, the message of God has to be clear. You remember what was agreed, what, what we agreed in the beginning. If God loves us, if God wants the guidance for us, will send his message clearly to us. I will understand it. A shepherd in the, in the, you know, in the Arab Peninsula will understand it. Someone, a fisher in the, in, the, in, the, uh, in the river, one of the rivers in Bangladesh or somewhere, will understand it. Doesn't need to go around. It's so simple, so straightforward. When there is vague, vagueness in the in the message that means this message didn't come from God if there's ambiguity if there's vagueness then uh, this message is not from God from someone else other than God so that's why when I asked you so simple and simple if God loves us will show us the guidance clear clear cut yeah? so God you believe this because if so if no one taught you Trinity you will not understand this but they have to keep teaching you the Trinity all the time in order to make sense for you. So that's why what you are discussing with us is faith is not reasoning. You understand? So what you are discussing with us is faith. It's not reasoning. But God gives us this brain for a reason, yes? For what? Just to hunt and to look after each other? Or as well to recognize God, to worship this one God, to submit our will to His will. So that's the idea, that's the point, and that's the wisdom behind having a brain for us to recognize God, to know who's, who's our God, what shall we do, or what's our duty to, to this God. That's the main thing. If with our own reasoning, with our own brain, we cannot understand this, that means there is a problem. Do you understand the problem now here? So that's why I'm saying to you, my brother, why don't you open your heart and mind for the truth? If there is one God, which we agree there is one God, this one God, okay, Jesus didn't say, can you bring me a single statement from just saying, I am God, worship me? He said, I am the Almighty, I am Omega. What? I am the Almighty, I am Omega. Again, I'm the, I, again that's, that's vague. It doesn't mean, listen, I'm talking about clear cut. Listen, what I'm saying to you, if you have... God is Almighty, I am Omega. No, no but by the way, by the way, mighty, not necessarily always goes to God. You understand? He said, I am the Omega and the Alpha. Uh, again, again, that's another vague thing. Which we can, which we cannot, I wish, because I, wish I could tell you more because I, I'm not really uh, That's why my, my point is to you. Listen to me, Daniel. Again, if we wanted to understand God, we have to, it, it has to be clear. These things has to be clear. I think the Bible's not clear. No. Why? 
Me and the Father are one. The Father is greater than I. The only true God is the Father. Tell me now. The only true God is the Father. Another question. You see here, we have certain things. You said, is Jesus Almighty? Is he all powerful? How he was tortured and nearly they, they crucified him. Uh, He's all powerful. So he he came down. He came down as a human. And when we say he put on flesh, he came as a human. Okay. He was still God inside. It's like say, are you? Did he commit suicide? No. It's like if it, if you know, yep. you you go. If you go there, you're gonna be killed. You know, you definitely you're gonna go kill, be killed. And. If you go there and you know you're destined to be killed, is this suicide? No, because suicide is killing yourself. No, no, no. With no. your own. No, no, no. Who self. told you this? Suicide, by the way, even those people who they call themselves suicidal, you know, people who goes there, they do this. If I got dragged to, to the cross right now and someone killed me, that is not suicide. No, it is. I will tell you how. It's not. not dragged. If you know you are going there distant, you, you're going? You're going? Okay, if you know that you are destined to be killed, then this is suicide. This is suicidal, suicidal mission. That's what they call it, suicidal mission. But there's nothing you can do there. My point is, do you see the, do you see the problem? Now here, did he know that he will be killed? No, actually no. Do you know why? Because in the night, the day, the, the night that he said, he was asking God, begging God, to someone he, he is sent for a single mission. That single mission is to be killed on the cross, yes? yes. But what he was said the night before, he said to God, take this cup away from me. Begging God, crying, even he was crying in tears, and the tears came like a blood on the stone, yeah? His tears became like a blood on the stone, yeah? He was crying, he doesn't want to be killed. He said, take this cup away from me. Yeah? So I asked him, begging God to take the cup away from him. So someone, he was designated for a certain certain mission, and yet he said, "Take this cup away from me." Either he doesn't know that was his mission, or if he knew and he just wanted to abstain from it, that means he has an independent, he has a will which is against the will of God. So how is that? Again, I'm not. So he took the cup away. He said, "Take the cup." Take this cup away from me means take this the cup of torturing and killing. Take it away from me. I don't want to be killed. So he was probably, my guess is that he was showing humans. He wasn't he, showing, he was begging, he was crying. He didn't need to show. When you cry, humans, you didn't need to show need to, someone. We need to beg God and pray to him. And because he was a human, that's, that's exactly what he was doing. He was, he was, he was the flesh of a human. He had everything that a, he did everything that a human would do. He felt pain. And as humans, we my, pray my, to my, him. My, my point so, is, if he is begging God to take this cover, was he begging himself? How is that? But he said, you said me and the father are one. Was he begging someone else? Yes. yes. So there are two. The thing is, you, you see, like, you say that they can't be two or three, but God does whatever he wants. Can he, he cease to exist? God. Can, God he, can God cease to exist? No. But you said he can do whatever he wants. Yeah. So he can he cease to exist? Yeah, he can. Yeah. He can cease to yes. exist? Do, uh, do you talk normal? Or, or it's good. He can, do so he can cease to exist. Yes. And leave us with no God. Yeah. Who's but ruling? But he won't. <laughs> you see, but that, he won't do that. That's my point. So he will not do things that doesn't befit his majesty and glory. Do you understand? Okay, could, 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 you, could you explain to me? Yes. Surah 920. Did we finish our topic? No. Okay, let's finish our okay, topic. Okay. Uh, you know, let, let, let's, don't jump into things. Yeah. The, well, you, you try to jump into different things. I don't mind. Let's, I'm over let's, That's why. If you're, so you see it, but you're educated about Surah 929. Yes. You see the problem. Why didn't you study your Bible and see all these contradictions, then discuss about other faith? I see a lot of Bob videos, so he this disproves your religion. Nonsense. I see because the, the idea is, the problem is, you see here, when you have these contradictions in the Bible, and you stand here to talk to criticize other, other faith, that's totally nonsense. We are talking about the Bible here, yeah? Our point is in the Bible, which is so simple and straightforward. We have contradictions, clear contradictions in the Bible. One, the first contradiction, Jesus is saying, me and the Father are one, which you agree. Then later on he said, the Father is greater than I, that's contradiction. The third contradiction to say, the only true God is the Father. 
how we can, if the only true God is the Father, and He and the Father are one. He's talking to who? Is it a contradiction? That the Father is greater than I. So, how is. When he says, me and the Father are one, how is it a contradiction if he says. It's totally a contradiction because if they are one, they're equal, they're the same. Yeah, that's a contradiction. If something greater than I, then they cannot be one. They can be one in mission, in, in conveying the message, fine but not in one as God, yeah. as divine. That's totally a contradiction. Okay. So that shows he's not God. <laughs> I, know I'm, I know I'm making it right, but... I, 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 listen, I, it doesn't I, matter, I, listen. I won't it, does, be it doesn't I matter. Be you see here, we came here, there is a Hindu yeah. who came once we debated this Hindu. He said, even if you prove to me Hinduism is wrong, I will continue to be Hindu. Okay. You see, the problem is, you're exactly the same thing. You said, even if you prove to me Christianity is wrong, I will still I will continue to be Christian. And that's a yeah. problem. We have to follow the truth. Am I right? Yes. So if there is falsehood in something, that means we are not following the truth. Well, there's a lot of falsehood in this stuff. Listen, okay. There's plenty. Okay, that, okay. I want to get to that. By the way, when you prove by the Islam is wrong, doesn't make Christian is, Christianity is right. Do you understand? So when you try to prove Islam is wrong, you're not proving Christianity is right. Then we'll discuss about the things because which the lack of knowledge of the people. Because for us, our source of information, not just only the Quran. We have God has sent with the Quran the Prophet, peace be upon him, to interpret for us the Quran and to give us the guidance. So that's why that's totally this wasn't done in any faith before, except for example in Judaism that God has sent. Uh, 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 has sent the Torah, has sent the scripture, and has sent Moses, peace be upon him, to teach the people. Same thing, it happens, but the people, they start coming to Jesus and they try to kill him, but they couldn't. My point is, to you, you see here, these things, even if you try to prove Islam is wrong, it doesn't make Christianity is right. So, that's why, let's let's stick to our topic, which is, the Christianity, is the Christianity is the, the, is the word of God, is the Bible is the word of God. And if these contradictions, that means, how can I rely on a source? that it has all these contradictions. Adding to this, that in the Old Testament, God is not a flesh. God is not, you know, in the Old Testament, talking about God is not a flesh. And then suddenly, God become a flesh. How is this? So he became... God is not a flesh. Then God become a flesh. In the Old Testament, God is not a flesh. Yeah, the New Testament, God become a flesh. So, he basically, it's like... He, he put on flesh. He didn't become a flesh. He no, actually, let's use. In the beginning, let's use. Am I a jacket? In the beginning, let's let's use it. In the beginning, yeah, the word was with God. The, yeah, the word the word was God, and that would become a flesh, which means this flesh was God. What he became? Yeah. <laughs> so my point is, you see here, that's a, that's another problem. So that's why when you say when you are using this, you are literally contradicting. The very concept of God. And adding to this, if Jesus is God, as you said, we said about all powerful, which is basically proving that Jesus is not all powerful, is Jesus all knowing? Okay. When Jesus was asked about people, they have, uh, you know, they, they, were, they, were, they were doubting about Jesus, asking about Jesus, said, Can, if he's God, if he's not God, etc. What Jesus answered, they asked him a simple question, which distinguished, distinguished God from the human being. They asked the question, the question as follows. This question, which is, when is the hour? What was the response of Jesus? No one knows about the hour, but the Father. Neither the Son, nor the angel. The only one knows about the hour is the Father. What does he mean by this? Means he, the, the, uh, the, the Son doesn't know about the hour. The Son doesn't know about the hour. You are saying to me, the sun in the flesh he didn't say this. He said, the sun doesn't know about the hour. The sun who's sitting on the right hand side of the father in the day of judgment, this one doesn't know about the hour. Doesn't know about the hour. So if the sun doesn't know about the hour, is the sun all knowing? That shows. Someone if, that if knows something about something definition, no, no, actually, yeah, that's good. That means one of the concepts of God, all powerful, all knowing, has independent will. So Jesus is not all powerful, 
not all knowing and doesn't have independent will. And the proof he said, let it be not my will but yours. That shows he doesn't have independent will. Yeah? That tells us Jesus is not God with all the definitions of God. What does that make Jesus now in that case? Sent by God. Prophet. Fine. The thing is, like, you're like, you, you picked me on purpose. You know, you I didn't know, pick you, you came, I didn't, did, uh, listen, I didn't come to you. You came, yeah, I didn't pick you. I asked you, do you want to have a conversation? You accept, yes? And I told you, do you want it to be recorded? You accept. And I told you, and we told, told you, you will be not on camera. Yeah, I just, I so, so I didn't pick you up. And you came, but you came because we don't believe in coincidence. You came here to hear the message of God, the true message of God, which is Islam. Now, if I'm Islam, yeah, I know, I, just like the Hindu. By the way, what if Christianity is wrong? You will still stick to Christianity, even if it's wrong. That's um, I prove to you it's wrong now. Yeah, the thing is, right, I, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to answer things, but like, right, it's the fact that I'm ignorant, you can, you know, now you know that I'm ignorant, you can, you know, listen, take listen. advantage No, 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 listen, what? I know they can be looking bad on what? the camera. No, 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 I will tell you something, I will tell you something, my friend. The verses that I caught in the Bible, were you aware of them or you were not aware of them? Um, I was, I've heard most of the uh, verses before. And I asked you, do you know them? You said yes. So don't say I am ignorant about. You were not. I'm ignorant of the response I need to give you. To no, no, the response. Is, so, so no, so that's but something that's else. So that's why it's a faith. That my point is to you. What I told you, it is we, we used yes. the Bible as the, as the source which you use. I as have a faith in the words that are said in the Bible, even if I don't fully understand them. That's my point. That's why, and I told you an introduction. If God loves us, want the guidance for us, will send us a clear cut. You know, yeah. non vague, non ambiguous yeah. message which everyone will understand it. You don't need to be ignorant, you don't need to be knowledgeable, everyone will know it, whatever the level of their knowledge. So I told you someone who is shepherd in, in the in, in the Arab Peninsula or somewhere, yeah, someone who is herdsman of the sheep or camel, somewhere in the world, someone who is, you know, a fisherman in the sea or in a river somewhere, doesn't need to go to Harvard, doesn't need to go to Camel, doesn't need to go to all these big universities to understand the Bible, yeah, or, or to understand the Word of God. We'll know this is the Word of God, we'll accept it, yeah? So, those people, when they receive the message of God, it has to be clear. They, knew, they know, as you know, God is all-powerful. They know God is all-knowing. They know that God has independent will. He does what He wishes, yeah? No one tells God what to do, what not to do. So they know this. When they apply this to Jesus, they find that Jesus is not all-powerful. They find Jesus that is not all-knowing. They find Jesus that doesn't have independent will. According to this, what they should do? They have to accept it even though it's wrong. Even if it contradicts the same concept about God. That's my point. My point is, you don't need to be well-educated to respond. Just like you go to any Muslim to tell them, for example, they may about technical things, but the concept of God, they understand it. So do you, do you admit Muslims, that do you understand? No, 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 no I don't believe there's mistakes because the people they misunderstand it, not mistakes. My point is, no, 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 no I'm not, I'm not misunderstanding. I'm talking about the concept of God. The concept of God is not clear in the Bible. That's my point. Do you believe you can disprove the Bible? It's already disproven. How? With these, with the verse, with the verse I told you now. With the verse I told you now. You said, you just said. That's you though. You accepted now. If someone is not all knowing, that means he's not God. You accepted this. And you told me Jesus is not all knowing, we finished. But it it's doesn't, done. doesn't mean it's, it's, it's wrong. You know, I'm, I'm ignorant and I can't give a, a good answer to. It doesn't matter. I'm saying to you about the concept of God. Go and. Uh, in Islam, the concept of the oneness of God is clear cut. No two people can say to you nothing about it. The concept of God. We believe God is almighty, all powerful, all knowing, has independent will. No one can disprove this in Islam. No one can discuss it. You go to any Muslim, even someone who doesn't have nothing, no knowledge from the Quran, will, will tell you that. So he doesn't need to study to understand that God is one and unique. Yeah. You understand? But when it comes to the Bible, all these flaws and all these contradictions. So you, you, you saying that you thinking that the Bible is wrong doesn't mean it is? Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah, that's what you think, that's your opinion. Okay, I will tell you. you let's use analogy, yeah? Your own analogy. Not mine, your own analogy. Okay. Is the Bible preserved? Preserve. What does that mean? Means, means that it's been the word of if the Bible is exactly the word of Jesus when it was revealed. When it was written? Yes. yes. Yeah? 
So Jesus speaks English? Uh, he knows English, he did not speak English. I'm, I'm saying what was his word? What was written in what language? Uh, I would guess... I don't know what language he spoke, I would guess maybe Aramaic or... Aramaic or Hebrew? Yeah, yeah, or Hebrew. yeah because he's Jew. Yeah, I would guess... Maybe. So he knows Hebrew? And Aramaic was the language of that time, yes? Yeah. Okay. When is the first the first Bible was compiled in which in which century? Uh, I'm not sure. Three hundred. After. Yeah. Adding to this, they found some patches, patches from the Bible, patches. They found it one hundred and eighty years after. Yeah? And these patches written in Greek. Greek, not even the language of Jesus. Yeah? And then later on. They, 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 they compiled the Bible after 300 years and not just that, they had to vote for the doctrine because some, some Christian at that time, they believe they were Unitarian, they believe in one God. Some Christian, they were binarian, they believe in two God, the Father and the Son. Like Paul, by the way, never endorsed the Trinity, by the way. And some Christian believed in the Trinity. So Constantine the Great, what he did, he kind of enforced the concept he enforced the concept of the Trinity to the people and made the people to accept the Trinity. So it wasn't something people agreed upon from Christian, yeah. from the early church fathers. So in that case, how we know this is, is preserved and protected? We know it's vague, we, do, we don't know. So we cannot use to say, this Bible is the word of Jesus or the word of God. Daniel, are you okay? Mom yes. asking. Yeah, I'm good, yeah. Are you okay? I've got, I'm, I, I go there? Yeah. Good, yeah. yeah, we had a we had a, a very you know amazing discussion. Yeah, he's he's good he's good lad by the way. Yeah, he's good yeah. lad. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. We are happy having conversation with you, Daniel. What's your name? My name is Muhammad. Yeah. Nice to meet you too. Yeah. Search my my friend, and you have the Quran. Just study, and and we are happy to to answer your questions. Do you have any questions? You sure. Okay. Thank you. All right, take care of yourself. Bye. All right. Me next, me. me yeah, yeah well, I remember you. From where? You came once here. We had a discussion no, once. No, no. Are you sure? No, it's my third time here. Okay. Uh, just started coming up here. Uh, you're not on camera, right? No. We, you are on camera, right? Yeah. I just want a quick private conversation. That's all. The, uh, the, gen the, the brother at the uh, front of the park who was here who came to introduce me to you. Okay. Um, who's, you don't want it to be recorded? No, well, I'm not here to debate. I, 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 I want to learn from you. I, Good. I've got some questions. All right, brothers. Okay, inshallah. We'll be concluding here, inshallah, today. May Allah guide our brother Daniel and bring him to Islam. Inshallah, we'll have, we'll have a conversation with the brother, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Yeah. I don't know which is which and who's who. <laughs> Take them, man. Don't leave one for me. I don't know what to do with these. Roxana. Uh, Roxana. Oh, yeah, this is yours. Yeah. Don't do half job. So, why did you give me just one job? What God did lost to Moses for the command, knowing that people would not be able to follow the No, no, no. no. Uh.